Hey y'all, so as you can see by the title, I am back in the kitchen. I know y'all love the cooking video, so I decided to treat y'all with a cooking video today. So today I am making the famous Italian chicken. We have some mashed potatoes and they are not homemade, but they taste homemade, okay? And then we have my favorite vegetable, asparagus. So, wait a minute, I left out one thing. Yes, the rose. So, let's get into this video. First, we are gonna start with our chicken. And, of course, you can't forget your zesty Italian dressing. But the chicken that I will be using today is the organic boneless uh, thighs. I was gonna say chicken breast. And my favorite seasoning, the Himalayan pink salt, garlic powder, and black pepper. Some complete seasoning. And also lemon pepper. Now this is optional, so you don't have to use lemon pepper. And I don't use the lemon pepper all of the time. And of course, we cannot forget our garlic. I'm going to set my oven at 350 degrees. I cannot tell you the time that I left them in there because I pretty much just go check them and when they're tender, I pull them out. Now it's time to cook the asparagus. And as you can see by the look of those handsome hands, my husband is cooking my asparagus for me and I basically just use the... Uh, pink hemp, the Himalayan pink salt seasoning that you saw earlier and extra garlic, I think he used. I'm not sure, but y'all will see it. Y'all will see what he used in the video. Girlfriend, you got me smiling what a rich day. Stars are brighter, I feel lighter. Every way, girlfriend, there's no one like you when it comes to loving. Life is richer, lips are sweeter. Now, listen, stay in let's figure out where to go, and how about family, new history. Now I am going to get started on our mashed potatoes. This is everything that you will need. You're gonna need, of course, your milk, your seasonings. I also use cream cheese, 
sour cream. I always incorporate a little bit of Parmesan cheese as well as heavy cream. I don't think I, oh, yes I did. I thought I didn't show y'all the heavy whipping cream. And of course we need our box mashed potatoes. Okay, y'all, so don't talk about me because I do not measure, I do not follow the instructions instructions on the box. So <laughs> I will tell you, follow the instructions on the box, but I basically just wanted to show you all what I add to my uh, box potatoes. And I mean, they turn out tasting like homemade potatoes to me. So I like to, of course, put them on and off and on and off the stove. That way they won't pop everywhere. And then you can see how I slowly add everything that I just showed you into my pot. And then, yeah, that's about it. I don't have any measurements, but I will link like all of the ingredients that I'm using in the description box. And as you can see right here, this is what happened when you don't measure. <laughs> so I just kind of added some more flakes to it to thicken the mashed potatoes up. And yeah, y'all, that's about it. So I'm going to let y'all continue watching me and my mashed potatoes. I do want to tell you when you're baking these rolls to make sure you cover them with aluminum foil while they are baking and they will come out so moist. Carry the winds, drummed up the rain. 
wasn't that quick and easy and it is so good y'all just a very simple and easy dinner and i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and what else oh thumbs up this video because y'all know y'all want to jump through this screen and bite a piece of that yeast roll and chicken and mashed potatoes and i know y'all want an asparagus <laughs> but i will see you guys in the next video bye